In Hong Kong, there are more than 300 temples, and over half of them are situated in densely populated urban areas, all surrounded by residential areas. Have you wondered what part burning incense plays in Hong Kong's overall pollution problem? My research focuses on environmental health and urban problems and examining the effects of environmental factors such as air pollution, noise and heat on health-related problems using low-cost portable sensors would be of great interest. The idea of this project came from a study I conducted during my postdoctoral studies when PM2.5 readings were particularly high on two specific August evenings. It was discovered that the abnormal rise was due to the burning incense for the Hungry Ghost Festival. We have collected measurements on the emission from incense burning in temples and our preliminary findings indicated that they were very high during the opening hours but dissipated quite quickly once the temple closed. The spatial gradient, which is the dispersion distance, is also relatively short. This lays a good foundation for future technological research on reducing the impact on health. For example, integrating the mist spray system with the Internet of Things, sensors and big data analytics to control over the time and duration of the spraying to minimize the impact during the peak hours. We hope that the methodology and the empirical evidence will be useful to larger projects examining other related pollutions in neighborhood districts. With my diverse experience, other than continuing to develop my own research on environmental health issues and collaborate with cutting-edge researchers in the field, I also strive to communicate more with the industrial practitioners or professionals to foster knowledge transfer, bridging the industrial academia gap, and addressing complex practical problems, particularly in environmental issues such as green energy and waste management. <laughs>